In this video, we are going to be looking at the basic elements that make up a movement called suspension. Now with suspension, this is part of the gait cycle. So this is something that everyone should have the availability to perform or the ability to access all of these movements. So it's also a great way of assessing whether or not you can achieve all of these. And what you're going to be doing is having one leg forward, one leg back, almost like you've just taken a step forward. And in this position, the back foot wants to be straight ahead and as well as the forward leg. Now a lot of people will start out with that back leg turned out to provide them with a little bit more balance and stability, but I'm going to encourage you to keep that foot pointed straight ahead. If anything, if you need to go out a little bit wider with your stance, by all means you can do that. So with suspension, what we're trying to do is bring your weight forward onto this leg and then come on back. It's just a rocking-like action. It's not necessarily a lunge. It's just shifting your weight and learning what happens with your body as you bring your weight onto one leg. Meanwhile, the back leg, if this knee is bending and I come forward, this back leg is going to stay straight. So as best you can, try to keep this knee on the back leg extended. The heel of that back foot can come off as you travel forward, but we don't necessarily want to allow this knee to bend when you come forward because then you're going to lose a lot of the opening of muscle tissue that we're trying to create. So the attention is going to be primarily on the forward leg here. That knee is flexing and bending, bringing our weight onto this foot. My head, shoulders, and hips are going to tr try and remain in a very vertically balanced position. So I'm neither leaning forward or backwards, but I'm just going to try and stay right over my hips as I glide my body weight onto this forward leg and back. As I do that, the knee itself is going to travel forward, but slightly inward so that it lines up almost right over the big toe. Now, many other exercises will tell you to keep the knee aligned with the midfoot or the second toe or third toe. In this particular case, we're not going to try and do that. We're going to break away from that and actually go into the proper joint mechanics that should occur every time you take a step. So, the knee travels over the big toe as it comes forward. This encourages not only flexion at the knee and the ankle, but the hip is also flexing too. And as I come forward, can you get a sense that the pelvis is ever so subtly tilting forward? As that occurs, not only is the pelvis tilting forward, but the side that you're traveling toward is going to get a little bit higher than the side that you're leaving behind. So the pelvis is going to tilt laterally or sideways. The side that you're traveling toward is going to be hiked here. Now what that will do though is that will send the spine off in that direction unless the muscles along the spine and the muscles connecting the rib cage to the pelvis contract and pull us so that we're over this foot. And that's really what we're looking for. Can we bring our weight onto this leg and balance ourselves on top of it? What might be helpful at times is to take the opposite arm of the forward leg and just reach upward with it. And not just a little bit of a reach, but can you reach with the elbow? Can you reach with the shoulder? Can you feel how that lifts this side of the rib cage and in essence tilts the rib cage so that we're loading more into this leg? Now as that's occurring, the pelvis itself is rotating away because this leg is forward. It sends the pelvis around. But as we're walking, the arms are moving in the opposite direction. So they're swinging the rib cage in the opposite direction. So if the pelvis is going that way, how do we get the rib cage to go that way? Well, we can take this hand, the same side as the forward leg, and we can just simply bring it back around, almost like you're hitchhiking. Just take that thumb around and behind you. And then that will start to open up the chest. It will bring the rib cage around. It is tilting and rotating onto this leg. While you're doing all that, try as best you can to keep your head nice and level, not to rotate with the rib cage, but to be separate so that the head is always locked on the horizon, pointing straight ahead. And can you get all of these other actions occurring? Flexing at the ankle, flexing at the knee, flexing at the hip, extending through the spine, flexing into the cervical spine to keep that head level. When it comes to sideways motion, the ankle is going to drive the knee toward the big toe. 
The pelvis is going to hike on the forward leg. The rib cage is going to go in the opposite direction, and the head has to stay level by tilting in the opposite direction, the rib cage. Again, you can encourage that with the arm reaching upward. And then when it comes to rotation, the ankle is rotating inward, the knee is rotating toward the midline, the hips and pelvis rotating across in that direction, while the rib cage moves in the opposite direction and the head has to be opposite of the, head of the rib cage. There's a lot of things going on with suspension. So this is why you just want to take one little piece at a time. Can I get my ankle to flex? Can I get my knee to flex? Does my hip flex and my pelvis tilt forward? Can I keep my rib cage over my hips by keeping my spine extended? Can I keep my head over my shoulders by allowing the middle of my neck and head to kind of come forward? Try these out. What you might find is if it, this is in your homework program that perhaps you've seen me and I've given you, you may be using these little foam wedges underneath different areas of the feet to help give you a better sense of contact and to prevent the foot from losing the proper shape it should have when going into this movement. So that is suspension. It's a lot to think about. In fact, if this is your homework, I would recommend watching this video as you perform suspension so that you can kind of check off the entire list of what should be occurring.